In 50 years, I hope that Margaret Hamilton will be studied in math history textbooks as the woman who took us beyond the moon. Hamilton is most famously known for her work on the Apollo 11 mission. On July 20, 1969, NASA successfully launched the Apollo 11 mission, making history as humanity traveled to the moon. One of the most critical figures behind this mission was Margaret Hamilton. Here you can see her standing by the 17 books of software coding she wrote by hand for the mission. This marked one of the first times that software programming was trusted enough for such a critical type of task. Hamilton was the woman for the job, having served as Director of Software Engineering at MIT. Her skills speak for themselves, as just three minutes prior to the moon landing, an emergency signal prompted the rocket to malfunction, but her unique program initiated a failsafe that prevented the rocket from aborting the landing, which saved the lives of everyone on board. Following her work at NASA, Hamilton became the 1986 founder and CEO of Hamilton Technologies Incorporated. Hamilton also coined the term software engineering, which was the primary focus of work that contributed to HTI's success. Today, HTI works on innovative solutions to software problems and is in the process of revolutionizing the language of computer programming with the Universal Systems Language, known as the USL. The USL comes with a number of benefits for software engineers because it can seamlessly transition between multiple different programming languages, in addition to being its own universal and optimized programming language itself. Further, each string of USL data commands are coded in a way that lets human software engineers understand the intended outcome of the program, and problematic codes can quickly be identified because of the transparency of the coding, allowing programmers to fix the problem with minimal downtime on the part of the computer owner. Happy programmers, happy consumers. The USL was inspired by the perfection of mathematics and the precision of engineering. This highlights the key difference of the USL from many other software engineering languages. It is a proactive programming tool. The USL not only highlights any internal errors that could be preventing a computer from working, it also actively searches for errors in the coding and corrects them prior to executing the command. This optimizes computer performance by not letting errors manifest themselves in the first place. The USL was built upon a set of axioms, much in the same way Euclid's elements were constructed. With the set of rules from the general systems theory from which the USL was created, the computer itself can access a universal pool of logic to correct disastrous errors and malicious attacks from outside sources. This holds so much potential as our society moves more and more toward an online, electronic way of life. Computer hacking would be reduced exponentially, identity theft would be a thing of the past, and the internet would be a much safer place to navigate as a whole. It may be another 20 or 30 years before Hamilton is solidified as a revolutionary mathematician in the textbooks, in part because many recognize her exclusively for her work on the Apollo 11 mission, and also because the universal systems language is still incomplete. Even then, it may be a while before the USL is recognized in the software engineering market, despite Hamilton being the founder of the market herself. Margaret Hamilton not only took our species to the moon, she is taking us beyond the moon. Margaret Hamilton is taking us to the future of evergreen electronic pastures and of cybernetic compliance between man and machine.